A commonly held belief among pet owners is that summer months are when you should worry about tick-borne illnesses, diseases, and with summer coming to an end, it could be easy to stop thinking about ticks. But ticks don't always go away when the air starts to cool. KSN's Peyton Steiner spoke to pet owners in the area and experts researching the topic to learn firsthand what owners are worried about and what to do to avoid tick-borne diseases. Jasmine, how to avoid tick-borne diseases is often at the top of pet owners' priority lists, whether it's chewable medicine or tick repellent on their fur. Keeping up with treatment year-round is the best course to keep safe from any illnesses a tick might give your pet. This is Sarge, and he's 10 years old. Sarge, turn around, walk this way. Teresa Sevilicek brings her dog to the park twice a day. The only worry is when we go out to the field, highly important highly important to stay up on. I firmly believe in that. Pet owners at the dog park say they mainly worry about ticks during the summer months, but an expert researcher at K-State says that ticks are a year-round concern. I often say I don't see ticks 365 days out of the year, but I do see them 12 months out of the year, and we would encourage pet owners to have their pet on highly effective products year-round for that reason. The most common form of tick found in Kansas is the Lone Star Tick. Some of the nice things about the Lone Star Tick is they do not transmit Lyme disease. That's what everyone asks me about is Lyme disease. They do carry a bacteria called Erlechia, which can be avoided. He stresses the most important thing, talk to your vet and stick to their plan. The nice thing uh, about uh, the Kansas veterinarians is they're tuned in. Uh, they're great diagnostic experts at uh, figuring out these tick-borne diseases. Teresa and Sarge stay tuned in with their vet which keeps her mind at ease. It's heart-wrenching to see animals go through any kind of a fight for their life. That to me is the main importance of staying up on all of the vaccines and, and the, the flea and tick treatment. Dr. Heron tells me that in Kansas, pets in rural areas that spend most of their time hunting or hiking are at most risk at any point during the year. If you do find a tick on your pet, remove it, keep an eye on them for lethargy, limping, or bleeding, then contact your veterinarian. Here for you, Peyton Steiner, KSN News 3.